Pup Squad. Boom, going back to 1985 for this one tonight. Uh, I do one of these every week. Uh, if you're new here, just wanted to hear some Hello Cool J. Uh, I do reactions to all sorts of different types of music now, but when I started the channel, I was going back to kind of re, to really not re even re educate myself, to educate myself on hip hop and rap from the early days forward. And uh, I was exposed to a little bit of it when I was a younger kid in the 80s, but it didn't really make it to my town of Burlington, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, only the biggest tracks ever broke through. Like, I knew LL Cool J at the time, but only because of his biggest tracks. Never heard Dangerous. <clears throat> at least I don't think I have. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. And... Um, but let's check this out. This is Dangerous from LL Cool J. It's from the album Radio. I absolutely remember the cover to this album. I don't know where I would have seen it. Maybe in my high school radio station. Produced by Rick Rubin. Uh, this is a song about his, um, about how good his DJ is. And uh, as this little annotation here says, it was common back in the 80s to have the a rap album kind of dedicated a song to the DJ Um and um, this is that song on radio. So let's check out LL Cool J's Dangerous. Four minutes, 40 seconds. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Cash App, PayPal, Patreon is over here if you want to send me something to listen to. And uh, go check out some other videos on the channel. You will find something cool for sure. Let's do it. Classic. Classic. Cool J gets behind his voice. It's so good. I, I always like that about his stuff. And um, this music, the the scratching, is great. I mean, it's classic, right? This is the stuff that I think of when I think of scratching on an album, and I just I love it. I love it. I love it. in the cuts. Physically physically meant 
Oh, got a long outro here. It's kind of funny because looking at it now, it seems like that ending section where they're just letting the letting it play out and letting Cut Creator do his thing seems way too long. I, I and I'm sure back in the day it was like, oh yeah, okay, this is kind of cool. It's just like whatever. This is just how it is. It seems way too long, and I love this stuff. I I thought that was a fun track. I I enjoyed that. I love El Cool J though. I just always have. I was sad when he just sort of went away. Like, he's he's more of a personality now than he is a, a musician in terms of, like, I, I don't even know if when's the last time he released an album, right? No idea. Ah, he just always seemed like such a good guy. I know that's, that's all just me reading into it, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, coughing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay, so he's doing something on Sirius Radio, I guess. He was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2016, became the first rapper to be the recipient of the Kennedy Center Honors in 2017, launched the Rock, uh, Rock the Bells Radio Classic Hip Hop Channel on Sirius XM in 2018, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2021. Yeah, he's got plenty of stuff going on. He's got to be about my age, right? Like, when was he born? 68, so he's a year, year and a half older than me. God damn. I was just born in the wrong place. I say that, right? He was probably born, like, in the shitty part of New York City. Like, yep, Queens, 68. Started rapping at the age of nine. Yeah, he would have been pretty young. Yeah, I just was not exposed to this stuff. Ah, it's so cool. It's so cool. I hope you enjoyed that. I always like to go back and listen to this stuff. Uh, this was from 1985. I forget if I mentioned that. And uh, I will be back next week with another song from 1985. Um, so one of the tracks that I could have done today was, um, I think it's Dougie Fresh with Lottie Dottie. And uh, it's funny, a while ago, yes, Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh crew. Oh, although the song was supposed to be the show. Oh, I might have to go back and do that. I don't know if I've done the show before. I know I've done Lottie Dottie. Um, and... Uh, I was thinking a while ago about Lottie Dottie and uh, just how that phrase is used a lot, like Snoop Dogg used it, obviously, and there have been other groups as well and artists who have used it. Uh, but I thought a great name for a female rapper would be Lottie Dottie, L-O-T-T-I-E, D-O-T-T-I-E. I thought it was funny. Um, there you go. Have yourself a good, good day. I will be back with some more music um, right after this. So, uh, come on back, check something else out, pop squat, check it out, cash at PayPal Patreon over, over here, uh, please like, subscribe, and share, I can't think of what I'm trying to say, dear God, I'm losing it, have a good day. <laughs>